Hey guys, today I have a project pan for you guys. I really haven't done one of these in forever and I really wanted to. And this is in collaboration with my great friend, Leticia. We recently did a collaboration and we have been loving just collaborating together, working ideas together, and just like really just having fun about YouTube again. I feel like it almost became like a chore at certain times where I'm like, ugh, film, you know? Um, but I really want it to be fun because this is a hobby for me. I want it to be fun. So I wanted to do this project pan. I saw Mariela from, I think her channel's Makeup With or I think Makeup With Mariela. I will link her down below as well as Leticia and Leticia's Instagram. Go check them both out. They are amazing girls. And Leticia is also going to have one of these project pans. So check out what she is going to be panning as well. So because it's 19 in the year 2019, then there are quite a bit of products. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And first things first is this baby right here. This is the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Palette. I want to hit pan on, if I could just hit pan on one of these, then I would be happy. Um, I feel like I love this when I first got it, but like everything else, you know, new things come out and things like that. And you kind of forget about using certain things. And I've really been more into that luminescent kind of glow and these powders are it. So I wanted to make it an effort to actually use these babies. As far as like foundations, I picked out two foundations that I feel like I've had in my collection for way too long and I need to use up. These are like a really full kind of coverage foundation, especially the Kat Von D one. And I want to use these up even if I have to like mix them with oil or other like more luminous foundations, just even a drop or even if it's just for filming. I actually have the Kat Von D one on today mixed with something else. So I really, really want to use both of these babies up. So as you can see, um, I think they're probably like halfway there, but being that I have about like 20 other foundations, then this is pretty like hard to get by, but I am going to definitely make the effort. Next up are some setting mists, and these are mists that I absolutely love. These are both hydrating mists to the face. I want to make an effort to apply hydration to my skin as skincare before my makeup, and these are awesome. This one is the Pure Miracle Mist, and this is the Pixie by Petra Hydrating Milky Mist. So love, love, love these, and as you can see, this one doesn't have that much I will be marking everything with a marker um, just so that I can keep track of how much I've used so um, we'll do like a half year update and then a final update and this one is about halfway so definitely want to get into using those for primers I picked two I have the cover effects blurring primer and I think this is almost completely full and then the Hourglass Dim Light. This is more of a silicone primer, and this one is more of a luminous one. I really want to just start incorporating a lot of my items. Those I, I didn't really pick like for a specific reason or anything. Next up is the 24 Hour Base by MAC. I feel like I use and use this and can't freaking like it keeps sitting there in my collection, so I really want to use it up. Um, and next, another thing that I feel like I have really neglected is this Naked Skin loose finishing powder in the shade medium light definitely hasn't gotten any love whatsoever and even if i could use it like halfway through by the end of the year i would be happy with that uh also for powder i put the bare minerals bare pro in warm natural i just want to at least hit pan on this i really like this powder it is one of my favorite powders, but I don't know what happened. You know, I feel like you get so many powders that it gets to a point that you start neglecting some. So I really want to start incorporating that one. Then for concealers, the Naked line. I bought these when this was all the rage and I feel like I haven't given it enough love. So this one is the corrector and this is the, oh my God, this gloss is like accumulating on the inner side of my lip and it's it's a little gross. <laughs> so I really want to start incorporating. I know the corrector is going to be a little bit harder to get through, but I just want to, you know, color correct, especially like I have a lot of darkness and you can actually see that on camera. And maybe if I had used this, it would really diminish that a lot. So really want to use these puppies up for blush. I picked my very first high end. I'm pretty sure this was my very first high end blush. And this is deep throat by NARS. All I want to do is at least hit pan on it. 
because that way I would feel like the satisfaction because these suckers are expensive and to not hit pan on that. Next up for bronzer, I picked the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is a very beautiful one. This is like a mini size, um, but I just want to at least hit pan on that. Next up is the Smith's Rose Bud Salve. Um, this I kind of put in here because it's full and I really want to use it up. I feel like I don't hydrate my lips enough and this will kind of motivate me to use it more, use it before liquid lipsticks and things like that and just really, really hydrate my lips. Then I only picked up one eyeshadow palette because I'm going to be honest, eyeshadow palette palettes are hard to pan so I, I don't ever think I've ever panned one so um, this is the Naked Basics and I do use this quite a, a bit so I'm hoping that maybe because I do gravitate to using this with a lot of other palettes that I will be able to pan this one so I'm going to keep it out on my vanity. I'm actually going to put most of these you know more visible towards me so i can reach for them uh next up is the anastasia beverly hills contour kit this was my very very first contour kit and i think i then bought the cap on d one the cap on d one i have hit pan on certain things so this one needs a little bit more love i feel like um, after they did this, everybody did it, and then my collection of contour palettes grew, and I never reached back for this one. So I really, really want to incorporate this and give it some good loving and pan some of these. And then the last thing is going to be something hilarious. This is the Lashes, the Lash Lookbook by Ardell. This was their collection last year, okay? And then I bought this year's which is the wispies one um and today i made the effort of actually putting on lashes which i kind of suck at because i am out of practice of using them i have not been wearing them as constantly as i used to back in the day and i really have you know been slacking i've been using like these little magnetic accent ones on the corner of my eye a lot for my videos and I just want to make an effort to start wearing them and I have a drawer full of lashes so I'm like okay why do you keep buying lashes if you're not going to use them and then you have these huge books full of lashes that you have yet to touch so this is my mission I want to at least use all of these pairs this year so there are one two three four five six seven yeah one two eight pairs okay so there's eight pairs in here and i really really want to dive into using these maybe even use them for work do get ready with me's and use them for you guys because i feel like i shy away from using them out in public i usually only wear lashes when i film or do special holidays or parties at my house and things like that so i'm thinking maybe i should start wearing them more on the daily basis um like the days that i work and things like that so i definitely might incorporate these in my get ready with me so those are the 19 project 19 uh, products that I want to pan this year. Let me know if you guys are going to be doing this. Let me know um, down below, link your channel so I can go watch if you are doing. I'm curious to what everyone is going to be panning and why. And if you like these kinds of videos, um, definitely stick around because I will be filming more empties this year. I really want to get into a mentality of using up products and not falling for the hype so yeah let me know down below what else you'd like to see from me this year i've been collecting in a little notebook like ideas from you guys thank you guys so much i can't do all of them or some of them aren't um you know doable based on my schedule to be able to film but i am you know trying to see which ones i will be able to incorporate so yeah thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing if you're not subscribed definitely hit that little red button down below love you guys until the next one bye guys